Hello everybody, uh, I'm going to do a quick video here uh, showing how to use a cigarette stuffing machine for making your own cigarettes. And what I got tired of doing was spending, you know, five dollars, five fifty a pack for a pack of smokes uh, to get an inferior product. And what the commercial co brands have been doing in these last, oh, I don't know, maybe two years is on the cigarette themselves they're putting a fire retardant chemical into the cigarette paper uh, so they'll burn out if they're left unattended. Well that's just another chemical that you're inhaling that you shouldn't really be inhaling and if you want to check one of your cigarettes to see if it has those chemical stripes on them just take one of them out of the box and get a sharpie and just make a stripe down it and you will see that where the marker will not absorb into the paper is where you're actually going to have those chemicals. So try that out. Uh, so what I started doing was buying these filter tubes here uh, for a pack of 200 depending on how you buy them. Uh, they're about $2.50 online. Uh, I bought them in a quantity so I got them down to a, about $1.93 a box. Uh, the tobacco itself that you can use you can buy it at the smoke shop, maybe an Indian smoke shop. They've got some pretty decent pipe tobacco there that works pretty well, tastes pretty good. Uh, I like the Ramback, DNR's Ramback tobacco. This one I'm trying out is a Ramback Gold, which is why it's in a small, small container like this. Uh, I think this was around $9, uh, kind of expensive for this size. I might get about half a carton out of this. Uh, but I'm buying 14 ounce bags of Ramback. Uh, offline and they are about $25, $26 for that and that'll get you a little around two cartons worth of cigarettes. Uh, by the way I bought them I got mine down to $1.49 a pack and those are from pr for premium cigarettes that taste great, they're fresh. Uh, so you might look into that. So I'm going to actually show you two machines here. Uh, I have this little Presta Deluxe which is I think about $9 to make them one at a time. I'll show you how this one works uh, and I'll actually start there. Uh, so if anybody wants to get around to experimenting, you know, check your local smoke shops. You might be able to pick up a, a pack of the contain uh, the tubes there. Uh, probably, a, I think they're maybe a spirit brand and they're uh, about probably 350 there. But just to see if you like it and play around with it before you upgrade to a larger machine. It's a small, small capital investment even when you use a larger machine. Now this particular type here does not pack the tobacco for you so I'm just going to put some tobacco in it uh, just to show you how it does work and it has a little tamper here that's in this fixture which I don't usually bother using that but you want to pack it in there fairly decent push it out to the edges add a little bit more this machine takes a little bit longer to use clearly because it's, it's a little bit of extra work but once you get the tobacco in there, you just place your tube on the end, like so. And then I'm going to close this down and hold it down and pull it. And it pushes the tobacco into the cigarette. So now we have the cigarette packed. Give it a few wraps on the table. And there, that quick and easy, you've got a nice smoke you can smoke. Now these, like I said, do take a little bit longer, but if you're pinched on cash, it won't be long in your savings in cigarettes that you'll be able to justify the cost of a machine like this. Now this is the Premier Supermatic. I really like this machine. It seems to be the Cadillac, Cadillac of manual machines. It's the same principle. You stick your filter on this little tube at the end. You can see this door closes. There's the first stage, second stage and the process injects the tobacco into the tube. Now on this one, when you start loading it up, I just put a little tobacco on top, pack it down towards one end, put some more in, pack it to the other end, fill up the center, and this is a little art form. If you put too much tobacco in, it will let you know because the machine will want to hang up. So you do have to play around and get a tactile feel of how much tobacco to put in there. Uh, so once you get that in there such as so, you start bringing the lever down and this cutter will actually cut the tobacco. And I put my hand like this, hold here, and inject it and it kicks the cigarette off. 
and I'll pull a little bit of the tobacco off the end, give it some wraps. And then if you wish, you can take a pair of small scissors and cut off the excess, and then you've got one more smoke. And depending on how quick you are in this endeavor, uh, you can make a pack of cigarettes in, uh, oh, five to seven, five to eight minutes, depending. And what I do is go ahead and make up a couple, two or three packs, depending on what you're going to be doing. Maybe you're going out to the bar and partying. Maybe you're going to the lake for the weekend. And just prepare them, and I put them in a, a sealed container and just pick them out and stick them into whatever you're going to carry with. You know, there's two right there, and I'm not even really trying here. And, you know, typically you can make a pack of cigarettes before you can get down to the store and buy them. You know, so you've got the initial cost savings of making it your own, making them yourself. And then, of course, you have the cost saving for your time and your gasoline to go down to the store. Well, your time can be re-diverted into making your own and you'll get a bigger pleasure out of smoking your cigarettes knowing that you were the one who actually made it and you're going to be not that smoking is good by any stretch of the word but at least you'll be getting a healthier smoke without all those extra chemicals you know if you want to do some research on the web about what they actually do to manufacture cigarettes and how they process the tobacco You'll probably want to be doing this fairly quickly. Now what I've noticed with the commercial smokes in the last couple of years is I was getting a, a, a smell and a taste of bleach when I would exhale out through my nose like I'd been cleaning with bleach. And my eyes were burning and they never did that in all my years of smoking until that fire retardant chemical was put into the cigarette. And it didn't matter which brand I was smoking they all did it and when I tested each cigarette they all had that strip in there well as soon as I quit smoking those and smoked one that I rolled or stuffed that went away 100 percent and I still had some commercial cigarettes when I started making my own here and uh, sure enough as soon as I lit one of those commercial cigarettes up that smell of bleach and the eyes burning was right back.